Hey guys, it's Michelle Mano once again and welcome to Tech Haven. Today we're going to talk about battery life. Everyone wants a great battery, whether an adult or a student, a married person, an old man, everybody wants his phone to be great in terms of battery. But I mean, these days your phone doesn't even last two days. I mean, take a look at this phone. Beautiful in all standards. Wonderful and it used to last two weeks. Yet your latest phone can't even last a day. So we are going to discuss some of the reasons why and how to save your battery. So first off, we are going to talk about some facts about batteries. Batteries have seen the slowest improvement over the years. If you have realized, some of your, your smartphone camera has improved over the years, your display has improved, the design has improved, but your battery doesn't seem to improve. It seems to last a day. 10 years ago, it used to last a day. Still, it lasts a day, but 20 years ago, it used to last about a month. So now, this is one of the reasons why I say it has seen the worst or slowest improvement over the years. Number two, batteries are measured in, or battery capacity is measured in milliamp hours. So when I'm going to buy a phone, I'm going to buy a laptop, it tell you that your battery capacity is 5,000 milliamp hours. It can actually last for a long time. I'm going to talk about it later in the video. And finally, batteries are made up of lithium ions. I just said that it looks smart. So now let's move on to what is actually draining your battery. So now, why aren't your batteries lasting long? Number one, your phone is getting faster. So now as your phone gets faster, it tends to draw more power to make it faster. The processor tends to draw in more power to make it faster. So that's number one reason why your phone is not lasting longer. Number two, your display is getting bigger. Now, as your display gets bigger and the resolutions become more on your screen, it tends to also draw in more power and then your battery dies out faster. So phones with higher resolution screens die out faster than phones with lower resolution screens. Now, if this all sounds like quick, it's probably because you have not watched my previous video. So I'll put it in the link so that you can watch it. Number three, the phone is thin at a cost. Now, phones have reduced in thickness over the years and this comes at the cost of either reducing the components inside the phone or cutting down some of the components. Now, this is true for battery because as the phones get thinner, they either have to compress the materials inside the battery or reduce the battery size. So you can't eat your cake and have it. Either have a very nice and very thin phone at the cost of your phone dying one in the morning. So yes, you want a thin phone, it comes at a cost. Some of you don't even have a headphone jack because they will tell you that there is no or not enough room to put a headphone jack inside. Quite unfortunate. Me, I prefer a thin phone with more functionality than a thin phone that dies in a day and that doesn't have any practical use. You understand me? Yeah. And the final and most important reason why your battery is dying is very important is that you don't know the tips i'm going to talk about in this video so stay tuned and finish to the end so now for the meaning of the day how to save your battery number one dark mode and dark mode is when your phone uses dark accented colors to be the theme and background of your phone now this is going to be beneficial only for oled users i'll put a link in the description where you can check whether your phone is oled or not so just to be safe to give you guys a hint if you are using any phone which is 7 plus and below your phone is not OLED so the dark theme or dark mode won't be beneficial to your battery as those who are using X, XX Max and the following iPhones to come for Android I think from the S6 onwards they all have OLED screens for Samsung so it should be fine Google as well and if you want to check your phone and see whether it's OLED, I'll put the link in the description. So now dark mode is one way you can save your battery. Number two, when your battery is getting low, don't clear your RAM. Now, a lot of people think that clearing your RAM will save your battery because the background apps are running and they are taking away from your battery. However, this is false. Your phone uses more power to clear the background apps than leaving it there. So what I advise is that when your phone is getting low, you leave it as it is. 
So now one very important thing that a lot of people don't take heed to is don't let your battery die before you charge it. There's something called charge cycles, right? When your phone goes to a certain number of life cycles, it degrades in battery. So now if your phone was 5,000 milliamp hours in, and you use, for instance, an example, 500 charge cycles, it reduces to like 4,500. 4, so if you let your phone die out every time before you charge, you are reducing your battery size and this is no good so please when your battery is getting low just put it off don't make it die out and tell you that shutting down it's no good so it's better at least it's even best, I hear it's best to keep your battery between 50 and 80 percent so it's better to keep it there than to make it die out and reach out to 100 percent it's better to keep it within this range so that I advise that you always keep your phone in tune or in the charging cycles between 50 and 80. You get what I'm saying? Another myth I also hear is that leaving your phone charging overnight is no good. Now, your phone is not called smart for just any reason. It's called a smartphone because it is smart. Now, when you leave your phone charging overnight and it gets to 100, what the phone does is that it cuts out the current. So there is no current flowing through when your battery gets 100. However, it does something called trickle charging. Trickle charging, so it waits when the battery drops again and rebuilds it. And this is actually good for your battery. But the one thing that your phone battery or your any battery doesn't like is heat. So when you are charging overnight, what our advice is that move the case and let it breathe so that you save your battery. Also, keeping your battery or your phone in the freezer is not good because your battery doesn't like extremely cold temperatures and extremely hot temperatures okay, so finally if you are using a, a very old phone you can go to the store and change it like the beautiful phone i said in the beginning of the video you can go to a store and get a new a new battery and replace it if you are using a new phone unfortunately this will be extremely difficult so you have to take it to the technician and it will be a long process so it's just better prevention is always better than cure so just save your battery also avoid third party battery saving so when you go to the app store or the play store you realize that a lot of people have battery saver, battery saver. Now what the battery saver does is that it's always running in the background to try and save your battery. Now this application running in the background to try and save your battery is actually consuming your battery, right? So what I advise is that a lot of phones now come with inbuilt power mode or battery saving mode. So I advise that you use those ones because when the manufacturer made it, he made it to be integrated with the phone so it's actually saving your battery rather than downloading a third party battery saver to try and save your battery finally there's something called fast charging now for apple users or iphone users you have to buy your fast charging um adapters or chargers separately because they don't include it in the box however most of the android phones they add it into the box so you can keep refilling your phone before it dies out and there are some phones that can even charge 0 to 100% in just 30 minutes. So, what I advise is that you can go in and search for a fast charging brick to charge your phone as soon as you realize that it's going down. So, now to conclude, I hope I've helped you some way, somehow, somewhat, somewhere in your life. What? <laughs> so, now a lot of you always hear these tips, but then you don't do it. So, what I advise is that do them. Don't make your battery die before you keep charging it. Don't be, you know, the stuff I all talked about, dark mode is coming. If you're using an OLED screen, you can check and see whether your phone is OLED and then apply the dark theme. It also it has a really nice look to it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.